For these students, our lesson is all about the common monomial factor presented by your truly teacher, Abigail. Most essential learning competency. Factors completely different types of polynomials, polynomials with common monomial factor, difference of two squares, sum and difference of two cubes, perfect square trinomials, and general trinomials. Objectives. At the end of the topic, 80% of the students with 80% proficiency should be able to factor polynomials whose term have a common monomial factor. Let's have a review. Find the greatest common factor of the following. Letter A. We have 2, 4, and 8. Correct. The answer is... 2. How about in letter B? We have 15, 25, and 40. What do you think is the GCF? Your answer is right. It is 5. For letter C, we have 18, 36, and 81. The answer is 9. Very good. And finally, we have... 21, 42, 63. The answer is 21. Very good. You really know your GCF are the greatest common factors. Now, let's go to our lesson. It is all about the common monomial factor. It is a number, a variable, combination of a number and a variable which can be found in each term of a given polynomial. Now, here are the steps in factoring polynomials with a common monomial factor. Step 1. Find the GCF. Step 2. Divide the polynomial by the given GCF. The quotient is the other factor. Step 3. Express the polynomial as the product of the quotient and the GCF. Are you ready to solve? Let's start! Let's have the examples. Factor out the following polynomials using the common monomial factor. Let's have example number 1. We have the given polynomial 6m plus 8. Then, we're going to find the greatest common monomial factor of 6m and 8. So the answer will be 2. Then, we're going to divide the given polynomial using the greatest common monomial factor. Let's have 6m divided by 2 plus 8 divided by 2. So we have 6 divided by 2. The answer is 3. Then copy the variable m. Plus 8 divided by 2. The answer is 4. So the quotient of the polynomial the common monomial factor is 3m plus 4. Then, we're going to express our answer by the product of the greatest common monomial factor and the quotient of the polynomial and the greatest common monomial factor, which is 2 times the quantity 3m plus 4. Next, Let's have example number 2. We have the given polynomial 15x squared plus 10xy. Then, we're going to find the common monomial factor of 15x squared and 10xy, which is 5x. Then, we're going to divide the polynomial using the greatest common monomial factor, which is 5x. We have 
15x squared divided by 5x plus 10xy divided by 5x. Then, 15 divided by 5, the answer is 3. x squared divided by x, the answer is x. Plus, 10 divided by 5, the answer is 2. x divided by x, the answer is 1. Then, copy letter y. The quotient is 3x plus 2y. Then, our final answer will be 5x times the quantity 3x plus 2y. Now, let's have example number 3. We have the polynomial 5p raised to 4 plus 4p cubed plus p squared. The greatest common monomial factor of the given polynomial is p squared. Then, we're going to divide the polynomial using our greatest common monomial factor. We have 5p raised to 4 divided by p squared plus 4 p cubed divided by p squared plus p squared divided by p squared. So all we have to do is simply subtract our exponents. So we have copy 5, then we have p, then our exponents 4 minus 2 plus Copy 4, P, 3, minus 2. And here, for our last term, it is simply P squared divided by P squared. The answer is 1. Then let's continue. 5, copy letter P. Then 4 minus 2, the answer is 2. Plus, copy 4, P, 3 minus 2, the answer is 1. We don't need to write 1 as our exponent. Then, copy 1. So, the answer is 5p squared plus 4p plus 1. Then, we're going to express in the factor form, which is p squared times the quantity 5p squared plus 4p plus 1. Very easy, right? Let's exercise our minds. Factor out the following polynomials using the common monomial factor. For letter A, we have 4p squared minus 4p. For letter B, we have 4x plus 8. Letter C, we have 20 plus 36x. For letter D, we have 2a cubed b plus 4a squared. And for letter E, we have 15x squared y cubed minus 55xy cubed. For our math quotable quotes, the common factor of all religions is non-violence. It is from Mahatma Gandhi. Don't forget to connect with me in the following social media sites. Thank you for watching!